to warm up here. The gear that you'll need is you can have a kettlebell or just a simple dumbbell here. Either or will work. So we'll start with the warm up, standing nice and tall. We'll come into that lunge stance just like we did before. Both feet pointed straight ahead. Come right up on that back toe. Take a nice big deep breath in. Lifting the rib cage away from those hips, standing as tall as you can, tucking that chin back, reaching up as tall as possible. Your weight here should be 50-50 on each foot. And reaching up, really stretching up, even getting a little shaky, stretching up. To add a little bit to this, you can scissor those legs towards each other. We'll just take three nice big deep breaths here. Each breath, trying to lift the ribs further away from the hips. And then we'll do three half traces with those arms, taking a breath in, and then exhale out. Palms forward, opening those shoulders and chest up. Good, and trace it all the way back down, step through, and shift legs. Again, both feet pointed straight ahead, come right up on that back toe. Nice big breath in, pull those ribs away from the hips, stretching up as tall as we can, chin tucked back. Weights 50-50 on each of those legs. Pull them towards each other. Three nice big deep breaths here, getting a little bit taller with each breath. And three half traces. here, bring those feet hip width apart, elbows come into the ribs, palms face forward, we're going to do 10 slow hip hinges. So we're just going to push those hips as far back as we can, keep that chin pulled back, just the hips pressing back and then press through those feet, squeeze the butt at the top. So side view, so just the hips are moving, keep those ribs pulling away from the hips. here and with this one again slight bend in the knees really press those feet into the ground you're going to hinge those hips back keep the chest tall and open bring those hands forward as a counterbalance as you bring the hands forward push the hips back chin pulled back and then we're going to come over to that right side pushing those hips back keep those feet pressing into the ground far back as you can with those hips come back to center the other side, back to center. Good. Then bring those hands back, shake that out. Good, now we'll finish. Just some body weight squats. We'll do 10 of them. Take a nice big breath in, hinge those hips back first and then lower down, pressing those knees out. Press through those feet, squeeze the butt at the top. same structure as the last one. Focus today is posture. So thinking about being as tall as you can, keep space between the ribs and the hips. So ribs should be pulled away as far as they can from the hips. 
keeping the spine long, chin pulled back. Reason being, we always want to focus on that, especially when we're in a isolation mode. Tend to spend more time at home. Therefore, you're probably sitting a little bit more. So we want to think about getting up, getting tall as possible on every exercise. So grab kettlebell. And we're going to do the same structure as before. One exercise, four sets of five reps on 30 seconds. And then we'll do another exercise, four sets of five reps, 30 seconds. Okay, so we'll start here. Today we're going to do a shoulder press. So we're going to anchor those feet in, strong into the ground, slight bend in the knees. And we're going to start bringing that weight up, elbows tight into the ribs. And again, we're braced here, like we want to take a punch, glutes are squeezed. So really press those feet strong into the ground, that will help engage the glutes. And set my timer here, so we get that. Pause for station identification. We'll go in, and setting clock, timer. So big thing today is our cue is keeping the ribs pulled away from the hips nice and tall, okay? So shoulder press, one, think about weight. Think about using a weight that you can do probably six or seven reps with on the shoulder press. And then same thing with our lower body exercise, which today we're just gonna do a simple lunge. We're gonna do five reps, one leg, five reps on the other. Shoulder press, we'll do five reps, one arm switch, five reps on the other. So starting again here, nice and tall. Again, anchor those feet strong into the ground. Glutes are squeezed. Elbows locked into the ribs. Nice braced core. And we'll start. Here we go. And I'm pulling down with my lats, pulling that elbow back into the ribs. Four, five. So we'll put that down. Again, be active in the recovery. Shake that out. So we're going on every 30 seconds. Shaking that out. Getting set back up. And five. Good. Put that down. Now from here, when you're using kettlebell, you might want to flip that watch around so the face doesn't get smashed. Okay, about five seconds, switching back to the other side. down with my lats, exploding up. Good. And putting that down. So I just have my timer set 30 seconds and it just keeps going. Again, fast and loose as we're recovering. So this is set four. Good. And I'll do a little side view. Strong core engagement here. There's five. Good. So we get about an extra minute 30 rest here. So allow us to explain and switch the exercises. So with this one, we're gonna do simple lunge. It's gonna be nice and tall. Gonna step forward. Again, pulling those ribs away from the hips. We've got a goblet position, so we're really pulling those elbows into the ribs, shoulders packed down, chin tucked back. It's like you're trying to break the handle of the kettlebell. 
Squeeze the legs as you come down, and then press through that front foot and squeeze the glutes at the top. So you're always scissoring those legs towards each other to create tension. Okay, so that's our lunge. So we're gonna do five on one leg, take the remainder of the 30 seconds rest, then switch five on the other leg. So we'll start on this next interval. So getting set up here, I'm gonna start right leg. So the key is tension, keeping that scissoring between the legs, breaking the handle, that kettlebell elbows packed into the ribs, chin tucked back, chest nice and tall, scissoring down. that out. Always active in recovery. Nice big deep breaths. So getting set. We'll do a side view. Other leg now. Scissoring those legs nice and tall. Chin tucked back. Good. There's five. That's set two. Now we'll switch legs again. Just getting set up. Switching legs, elbows packed in, shoulders packed down, chin tucked back. Scissoring those legs. Squeeze the glutes at the top. There's five. Good, shake that out. Fast and loose, fast and loose. Good work. All right, switching legs. Again, do a little side view. Good. And fast and loose. So what you can do is you can continue with that. Um, we'll do, you can go through another round. So you do four sets of five shoulder presses on 30 seconds, take another two minutes rest, and then four times five lunges, switching legs each time on 30 seconds. So if you do another round, that's six minutes, two rounds, another 12 minutes. And that's a great workout to do. And to finish, we're gonna do a little breathing exercise. And I'm just gonna sit down in a comfortable position. You can do cross-legged or or just I'm just sitting back on my feet for a little ankle flexibility work. But doing some breathing is a really good way just to relax the body and get your parasympathetic arrest to relax, engaged to help calm you down, and just get you in a nice frame of mind after the session. So I'm gonna do something called box breathing. I'll cue you through it. You just follow along. So you can close your eyes, start with a couple nice big deep breaths, and we'll just do a couple rounds to show you how the box breathing works. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now with box breathing, we're gonna inhale for five, hold for five, exhale for five, hold for five. So I'll count you through it. You just follow along, inhale in, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, exhale out, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five. Inhale in, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Exhale out, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Inhale in, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Exhale out, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, 
four, five. Inhale in, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Exhale out, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Good job. And you can continue along with that. We just did a couple minutes, but you can do five minutes, however long you feel you need. But that's a nice way to relax and just decompress after a strength workout. So good job today. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you again soon.